Hi, welcome to An Artist's Journey, the podcast about creating and thriving as an artist. I'm your host, Malcolm Dewey, an artist and writer, and I'm living the artist's life. So let's get started. Hey there everyone, welcome to episode 4 of An Artist's Journey. And today I want to talk a bit about the attitude towards art. You know, these days one seems to be surrounded by a lot of bad news, a lot of negative uh, attitudes. You turn on the radio, you watch TV. Probably the worst thing to do is to watch any news these days. So I'd recommend staying away from that. But it's hard to get away from it and even talking to people in in any social situation. It quite quickly turns to the state of the economy, the recession, politics, who's going to be the next president, whatever it is, there's always a a negative element. And and it just uh, seems to be like talking about the weather and it's always going to be raining. And I wonder what's it going to take to change, uh, change attitudes. So I was hearing about this yesterday then uh, later in the evening checking my email and i subscribed to a newsletter from uh, a popular blogger by the name of noah kagan in his newsletter he is giving some advice on uh, growing your business so i checked it out and read a couple of uh, amazing articles and all about growing your business the the point that i got from from this is here we surrounded by negativity all the time and uh, here's this guy admittedly an internet uh, celebrity i guess and and a successful business person taking time out just to give a positive message it really was a great way to end the day and i picked up a lot of tips and advice and i immediately put them into action some great uh, tips about updating my YouTube channel, for instance. So I started the next day, something to do, something on my list to get stuck into and have fun uh, updating my channel. And guess what? I think uh, I, within minutes I was getting some more subscribers. So thanks, Noah, for those tips. I think um, what it comes down to is how you can flip the switch in your mind and just change your own mental channel quite easily and and what turns on what you expose yourself to are you listening to bad news do you buy the newspaper every morning and read that first thing you know i cannot um, see how that's going to put anyone in a positive frame of mind even listening to the news on the radio when you're traveling in the car man don't do it there's nothing good from it You're not going to miss the news anyway, any important stuff you're going to find out. I mean, it's impossible to escape this sort of thing completely. I think just um, what goes into your mind ultimately is a lot of it is your own choice. So read some positive messages, something about entrepreneurship, positive stuff that you can actually do to make a difference in your day. And when you do hear something bad well you know all you can really control is your response to it so you might have to turn to positive minded friend and just talk about projects things you can do uh, exciting things interesting things or put on a podcast read a book check out a blog from someone who is a mentor you know is going to be delivering something positive and some action steps you can take there and then to change your mindset. If all of this is not possible at that time, maybe you just need to do something, get down, do some press-ups, do some something different just to get your mind onto a different wavelength. Exercise is a great thing, so do as much of that as you can. I think as an artist, though, we're um, maybe even in a more difficult situation. You know, we always have these issues of, you know, is somebody buying our art? Um, Are we going to pay the expenses for the the studio? Money's running a little low, so you've got to think of promotion. Um, At least that's a positive thing. The worst part is 
when you're getting rejection maybe or sales have dried up and uh, you think, man, there's not going to be any more sales until the economy comes right and when's that going to happen? Now, all of those things are simply in your mind. Okay, If you say it and see it in your mind, you're going to see it wherever you look and then you believe it and you're creating a reality. I know this from personal experience when I start talking positively to myself and uh, I tell my wife you know, at breakfast time, I think this week is going to be great. I feel like I'm going to be selling some paintings this week. You know, it's uncanny, but almost every time within a day or two, someone's inquiring about buying a painting. It's got to a point where my wife tells me that um, I've got to buy the lotto tickets and, and uh, tell her that we're going to get the winning ticket. But uh, unfortunately, that hasn't happened yet. But how do you um, recognize this in time? And that's an, an important thing, is recognizing the words you're using, recognizing your thoughts, and then having the presence of mind to say, okay, I've got to change this channel. I've got to flick the switch and get into a positive vibe. Being able to recognize the state of mind and taking action and make it something that's not too difficult, something that you can do almost straight away. Just getting up and going, make a cup of coffee and telling yourself it's, it's going to be okay. All this will pass, you know. With art, for instance, I find the, the best thing is to go into my studio, go to whatever canvas is on the easel or put something on there and just start some basic painting exercise. Big blocks, shapes, large brush, let the kind of let the movement of the brush suggest things to me. And I find that that stimulates some thinking, that stimulates a creative process. I think creativity is by its very nature positive. Okay, I think um, it's our calling to make and create something and improve something. That is, um, that, that is the way that I think human beings were programmed. We kind of lost our way a little and sometimes we lose it a lot. So we got to tap into that natural creative state and taking little action steps. The smallest thing leads to something else and momentum builds up. Develop the mindset to do something that is going to improve your mind, improve your mood, improve your life. And it's all one step at a time. These things lead from one thing to the other. And if you can help someone else even better, the positive impact that you can have on a friend or family member, or even a stranger that you talk to. Try not to get drawn into the negative vibe and let's blame the economy and the politicians. Instead, direct the conversation into a positive channel. And you know what? You may just change somebody else's life and the trajectory of their day. Anything's possible if you set things in motion. My thought going into this weekend is, you know, while there are tough challenges to face, right now I can do something positive. And even if it's as simple as painting a little painting to make myself feel happy, that little painting is going to make somebody else feel happy maybe. And, and they're going to take it on. In that way, I can make a little difference. See what you can do today or tomorrow even about making a change. If, you, if you're feeling demotivated and it's looking a little bleak on the horizon, just remember those are just thoughts. Every achievement starts with a positive thought and putting that into action one little step at a time. And also, don't forget, to check out Noah Kagan online and... Okay, well, have a great and positive day and with lots of creativity and fun stuff. And uh, we'll chat again in the next podcast. If you enjoyed this, uh, don't forget to like and share it and subscribe for more good things. Okay, cheers for now. Mm -hmm.